time for some favorites. And we got the hot link. The first thing we've been loving though, talking that blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> How does it go? Come out your mouth with your blah blah blah, blah, blah. blah to zip, you lift like a padlock. I don't know. Meet you the bug with the jack at the jukebox. I don't really know what I have. Just turn around and hit that. I don't know. So this is from Victoria's Secret. 14 50 Not bad for a phone case. No, and it's like neon. Like it probably, it doesn't glow in the dark, but it glows in the dark. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I it's know bright. what I mean. It's bright. We love it. Don't get you some. The stink. Ew. <laughs> so these. We love boots. These are the Morona Minette boots from Target. They were on sale $31.99 recently and in stock in black, dark brown, and cognac. And oh my god, if we don't wear them every single day. Yeah. And we usually end up wearing the same color somehow and people are like, your boots are, you, you guys, guys have, have the same, same boots those on. Those are cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. cute. These next ones, they're probably not meant to be house slippers, but I wear them like that. Yeah. They are the Steve Madden, ew, there's grass oh. in it. I think, I think they are meant to be house slippers. With light usage you outdoor. outside, like to go get the mail. Yeah. In the garbage can. Yeah. Or to walk over to your sister's house to film. It happens. They're Steve Madden moccasins, and I've been wearing them like crazy because it's gotten really cold here, and they keep my feet thought it frozen, but we were just really still. It happens. <laughs> they keep hang on, hang on, hang on, freeze. Did you see that lint falling? No. I did. They keep my feet really warm, especially since it's gotten super duper cold, and when I wear them with socks, I feel like a grandma. <laughs> I wore them with socks over her house last night. I looked down and I was like, this is what I have to look forward to. Like, stockings for like... Preview of your future. Yeah. Oh. Get you some. Mm. This is one of my holiday favorites, and it's these Queen Anne. You could tell how hungry I was. I couldn't even open it correctly. What? It's the Queen Anne artificially flavored cordial cherries milk chocolate. It's a white stuff. It's like a vanilla. Um. It's like vanilla. It's like a I'll vanilla. It's like eat one bite of it. Almost. They don't look that pretty on the inside. I just don't want to see it. Oh, they're fake cherry? No, it's just frozen. Mm, it's really good. The Queen Anne cherries are amazing if you put them in the freezer. It's the only way I like them. Okay, so next we have our favorite Tim Tams that contain human flesh. No, they don't. <laughs> yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. It's photoshopped. <laughs> so, um, these are originally from Australia, if you don't know. Uh, this is not like the original brand and or packaging. This is the American version with Pepperidge Farm. And you can get these at Target. We're going to go get some more at Target because they're, they're amazing. amazing. They're all gone. We yeah. ate all of the Tim Tams. All of them. How long do they last? Because then I can know how many I can buy and save. Okay. Wow. Till July of next year. Heck to the yes. I could like get you through till next season. Yeah. That's amazing because honestly, it says 7 30 2013. That's probably just like a best buy. Right. They could still be good. And they could still be good after yeah. that. Especially if they haven't been opened. Yeah. So I really am probably going to stock up because what are they? Three sixty nine. Holy. No, I don't think they're that much. Okay. Well, Tim Tams. They're Australians. Go get your favorite some. cookie. We've both been loving all kinds of candles. Bath and Body Works candles, Target candles, ear candles. No. I like your wax. Ear candling is disgusting. So our mom got us this. It's not our favorite yet, but it probably will be soon. It's not our favorite yet. We, we just love candles. It's my favorite scent right now. Yeah. It smells amazing. <sighs> do you want me to bring some red velvet cheesecake over? Yes, I do. I forgot you had that. I was over at your house for like three hours last night. That's what we're having for lunch. <laughs> so this is the Yankee Candle Red Velvet. Our mom gave us to, gave us to us for her birthday, and for me it was just like a... Because I love you gift. It was early birthday. No, it was because she No, it was me. one of the, like, I can't give Stephanie a gift without giving you a gift because you'll cry. No. <laughs> you know how the kids you yeah, didn't until... So, she was like, those suckers are $15. <laughs> and I was like... Why did you buy them, Mom? I know, Mom. Like, you can get a... When this bad boy's on deal, it's $10. This bad boy doesn't go on deal. And it's 15 Like, just... I mean, it might go on deal, but not really. Look at that. I think sometimes they'll go on deal for like 15 or I mean for 10 instead of 15 yeah, but maybe. still a smaller candle. Yeah, still a smaller candle 
And they don't have red velvet in Bath and Body Works, so. One more time. Oh my god. It's like cupcake get in my mouth. <sighs> yeah, it's amazing. I have a favorite app. It's called Dental Surgery. <gasps> I played that already! That's so I weird. haven't played it yet. I deleted it. I was like, this is so... No, it I, pissed me off because I kept running out of time. I opened it last night when I was in bed, and Matt was asleep. Can you imagine this? And I had it, like, look. Now watch. It won't work it, on silent? It wouldn't, it wouldn't do that. Like, whenever I opened it, even though it was off, it was still playing music and I couldn't get it to stop. Oh. So I didn't get to play it last night. But I just... That game's hard. I'm not even kidding. Hello. Yep. That is also a favorite. So, yeah! I thought you were sneezing. No. Okay. I have been loving reading. It's my favorite. I'm still reading Insurgent. Yeah, I finished that. I just started a new book, and I think it's going to be a really good one. I can already tell that it would make a really good movie. I can tell. And it's called Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Is it um, dystopian? Yes, kind of. Um, so what it is, is it's... Is it a girl or a guy main character? There are three main characters. Oh, I don't like that. There's two guys and a girl. And basically, what happens is when I think you don't have the right to have an abortion, it's something about reproductive rights. It's really weird. But when you get to the age of 13, between 13 and 18, if your parents decide that they don't want you, they can do what's called unwind you. And you're basically put out for parts. Like, if people need your part, but they don't think of it as killing you. They think that you're going on to a greater cause and you're like helping all these people that need your organs. So we want to know other good books that are yeah. like in that genre that we should we check love out. We dystopian. We do. It's like our freaking favorite. Totally. Okay, so that completes our random favorite outs. Uh, we want to know what you're liking. Are you liking uh, carpet? About dogs. Are you liking Barbie dolls, boogers, band-aids, scabs, braces, plaque on your teeth? You never know what you love until you say, hey, I love that. Yep. Let us know down below or in the video response. And we will talk to all of you beautiful little cheeklets in our and next, next video. video. We sure will. We sure will. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. guys.